Balfand, um, you played very well. The whole team played very well. And at 95 minutes, it looked like you weren't going to get anything out of the game. So do, do you think it was it was just that at least you got a point? Yeah. To be fair, I was happy with the point, but I think we, we should be up like 2-0 or 3-0. Mm. Half time, we controlled the game. Like first half, second half was more 50-50, but I think we still have more opportunities than them. So that was a very strange game, you know. So they were winning one year and I said, oh my God, I will be happy with the point. Mm. But I think we deserve the three points. But we can take one point now because you can see the last results have not been so good. I know we haven't lost for seven mm. games, but Cheltenham, if you want to be on the playoff, we cannot be interested in one point. We can only be interested in, in the three points. So I was disappointed, but I also was happy with the point. It was last minute goal. What? What was the feeling like when, because it was a clear handball um, and, and apparently straight away when, when Matt scored, what was the feeling like? Because it seemed like all that pressure just come off all your shoulders and, and it was exhilarating stuff. I think you, we, we were going to score, I don't know why, I, had a, I just had a feeling, I said, <laughs> we also need some luck, you know, it mm. cannot be just like go, play well and get lost, lost everything and don't get at least one point, so I just had, had the feeling, so... But of course, like you said, you, you, it was a nice feeling. Like last minute, and score goal and get one point. It was a really nice feeling. This week is it's another long journey. This week, Morecambe away. Um, it beat them three 0 early in the season, but they're, they're going to be a difficult opponent, aren't they? Yeah, everybody know uh, Morecambe always have like nas a nasty side on them. You know, mm. it's like they, they always want to be aggressive against any team who plays against them. I think their manager always shouting on the touchline, so mm. it's going to be an aggressive game. But this is what we need. We need to win in the difficult places. So if we if we win in the difficult places, you can get confident, you know. If you win against difficult teams, is when we get confident. We draw against half end, but this is what gives you confidence. Go in hard places, mm. difficult, you, you expect in a hard game and win. After that, it gives you confidence. So this is what we need. We need the most difficult games right now, so we can Challenge, challenge the game and win points. So after that, I think it's going to become easier. And, and just lastly, so though, it seems like the, the team spirit is is back and the confidence is high. And uh, is it a happy place to be at the moment? Because you know, yeah, despite yeah. the fact there's been too many draws, you know. Yeah, we had the, like a Christmas do. We enjoyed a lot. We went out out in Essex. We enjoyed a lot. We got more together. You know, mm. make make everybody part of the team. If you, even the ones who are not playing now, like oh, we have examples like. Ross Payne, everybody knows the fans love him because he's a player who put shift in, works hard, but at the mm. moment he's on the bench, you know, so that was good. And y y you can look at him, he's our captain, but he's smiling all the time, so that is very good. I think at, at the moment the place is full of confidence. We just need to carry on our run, get a little bit better than what he is. So yeah. you're right, everybody's happy, man.